happy with who I am and, and whether, however people perceive me, that's, that's their issue. I actually see gender a little bit differently than how some of the other posts here have described gender and by genderism. My, my theories and my views are certainly complementary. They're definitely complementary with Sydney's continuum pencil thing, but it's a little bit different. First of all, I see gender somewhat like um, a filter. It's, I don't believe that gender is part of our core being. Um, it's kind of like tinted glasses. When you go to the pharmacy or whatever and you put on rose-colored glasses, the whole world turns a uh, pinky rose-ish, and you can put on yellow-colored glasses, or you can put on blue-colored glasses, and um, the whole world looks different. I see gender kind of the same way. You can put on one gender, put on another gender, you can take it off and switch it up, or put on more than one gender, get an entirely different view of the world. Uh, gender, the, the inside of me, my core being, is has one set of beliefs, one set of values, one set of emotions, thoughts, etc. How gender plays in is gender is kind of like a filter that is put over that, put over my core, kind of like kind of like clothes. And it filters my internal world. Um, it, it filters that. And so if I have a male filter on, a male gender on, it filters my internal world so that how I interact with the world and how the world interacts with me, or at least how I expect the world to interact with me, is uh, a male bend um, on the male gender side of things. And so oftentimes my expression of emotions, my, uh, my feelings, um, my presentation, my thoughts, uh, my voice definitely drops a little bit, my gait, all those change, depending on what gender I'm in. The other thing about gender that I, I talk a lot about, and um, I've blogged about it before, I have a blog that, uh, up until recently, I, I spent a lot of time documenting my, my transition coming out to myself and coming out to the world, is, is about um, gender buckets. I, I don't believe gender is so much a, a continuum. Yes, gender can be put on a continuum, but it's more like buckets. In Western society, we have two buckets. We have male and female. I very much advocate for a few more buckets there. Um, two male buckets, two female buckets, and somewhat of a, a catch-all, everything else bucket in the middle. On the masculine side of things, we have masculine men, or masculine male, feminine male, your um, catch-all in the middle is androgyny, genderqueer, that kind of stuff. Then we have masculine female, and then feminine female, or effeminate female. And when you're cisgendered, you um, you can be either one of those t those types of, of, of genders. So say you're um, bio male. You can be an effeminate male but still be bio male um, and, and be considered a man. Um, or you can be a, a feminine female and, and you're still female. When it comes to bigenderism and how it fits into this continuum is that I firmly believe that being bigender just simply means you have two genders. And so, looking at gender this way, I think when, when you're transgendered and you're going from one, one end to the other, or you're, you're going to the other side of the fence, so to speak, a lot of people who are transgender get very stressed out if, if they're more, if they're bio-female and they are more of an effeminate male gender, they get really stressed out because then they're getting judged that they're not masculine enough. Um, or the other way around, um, a transgendered uh, woman who doesn't like the whole lipstick thing is more of a masculine female, can get a lot of pressure from the people around them that they're not feminine enough, they're not female enough, and, and it's threatening. I, I very much ascribe to this, this 
more bucket idea. And, and, and you know, it's certainly there could be more buckets or less buckets. It's, it's more of a, um, it's not a definitive thing. It's, it's, it's just a, another way of looking at things. And so as uh, by genderism, by genderism is having more than one gender and, and, and um, you can be a, a f female, a feminine female, and a masculine male, or you can be androgynous and uh, an effeminate male. Me, I am a effeminate male and a feminine female. So uh, that's those are the two gender spheres that I live in. Now, what does that mean for when I'm bi gender? Well, um, couple a lot of different levels. Uh, 